he thinks. Once we've gained control back of our character Michael, we're going to go ahead and leave that, and we're now going to be going to the living room area where we're going to go ahead and use that cassette tape that we picked up that we just recorded those wonderful sounds on, and we're going to use that in order to break the chandelier that was in this room for that key. Go ahead and open up the cabinet doors, use the cassette tape on the cassette player, and then turn it on for more of that wonderful sound. As soon as the window and chandelier break, you can turn it off so you don't have to hear it again, and we won't have to hear it anymore. Go ahead and grab the key, and then leave the area. Now we're going to go ahead and use Wendy a little bit. I'm going to go ahead to the front door, open it up, just so that it's open, because we already did close it so that Wendy can get in. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull on this gargoyle thing, standing on the top of the railing here. And you can see it opens up to the door to the right of me. Once that's open, switch back to Wendy and we're going to enter the house for the first time with her. Now with Wendy, we're obviously going to go ahead and go in the door that Michael's opened up. Now this is one of those dark rooms as well, so you want to go ahead and turn on the light switch. And then you want to head to the left, and all the way to the left is a breaker box, which you can open up in order to turn the power off in the house if you wanted to. And then you can also go ahead and grab the silver key, which is more important for this matter right here. Once you have the key, you want to go ahead and leave the room. Now we're going to go ahead and begin trying to drain the pool area, which will allow us to get a glowing key, which will allow us to enter the lab. Now with Michael, we're going to go ahead and head outside. And that hunk -o -matic machine that we used earlier is actually used to open up this bush here and the grating behind it, but mainly the grate behind it. Once Michael's inside, we're going to go ahead and use the sponge on the puddle of developer. This is where that grate led to earlier on in the game. And then we're going to switch back to Wendy. Now Weird Ed's package will arrive at any moment, that one that he's been waiting for that we tricked him about earlier. So with Wendy now, I'm going to go ahead and wait for the cutscene, which here it is. Even though we're standing outside, we didn't see the package arrive. However, he's going to come for it, so we want to quickly go ahead and grab the package before he gets out here. So go ahead and pick it up. And I'm going to head back into the house with Wendy and quickly go to the kitchen so that Weird Ed doesn't see us. Open up the kitchen door and head inside. Now with Wendy, we're going to go ahead and go to that room where we dropped that liquid as well as got the fruit drink because the door in there is going to be able to be opened by that silver key that we just picked up. Weird Ed once again, not very happy that someone's playing a trick on him. However, this time his package really did arrive, we just took it. And we will be giving him his package back in order to become friends with him so that he'll help us out and work towards our ending. Now once you're in this room, you want to go ahead and use that silver key we picked up and use it on the yellow door and go ahead inside. Now out here is the pool, which we'll head over to the pool, but then switch back to Michael. Now you want to go ahead and turn on the water valve here, in which case the pool will drain, but a meltdown will occur if it's not turned back off after just a few short minutes of time. We now have a cutscene of Dr. Fred panicking about the pool being emptied, and then he's going to go ahead and send the purple tentacle out to solve the problem. The Purple Tentacle is very happy to go ahead and help Dr. Fred out, 
However, we're as Wendy again, we're gonna go down the ladder and pick up the now glowing key at the bottom of the pool. While we wait for that, we're gonna get another cutscene now with Weird Ed talking to his mom, Nurse Edna, about how Dr. Fred, his dad, has been acting very strange lately. However, she's not gonna believe him, and basically saying that everything's normal, however, he knows something's up. Once the cutscene's over, we go ahead and we get control of Wendy back, go ahead, pick up the glowing key, and then head back up the ladder. Now we have another small cutscene of the purple tentacle trying to figure out what's up with the meltdown, however he sees that the light's on in this room for one, some reason, I wonder why. And he's just gonna go ahead and turn off the light. And I guess that's his way of solving the meltdown crisis. However, once we have control of our character again, switch back to Michael, and now turn off the water valve in order to solve the meltdown crisis. Once that crisis has been averted, we're going to go ahead and leave the grating area, and we're actually going to go ahead and go back inside the house. Thankfully, Michael still has the key from under the doormat early on in the game, so we can open up the front door again. Now with Michael back in the house, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to Wendy and head her back to that staircase room where I have Michael now so that they can exchange a few items. Okay, once Wendy is back in the main area, we're gonna go ahead and give Michael some of the items we picked up, mainly the glowing key as well as the package. We're not gonna be needing that silver key again, so we don't have to really worry who that's currently on. Once we've given those two items to Michael, we're gonna go ahead and switch to him. We're now gonna head all the way back upstairs to Weird Ed's room, he's in his room right now, and we're gonna go ahead and give him his hamster back, as well as his package, and then he's going to tell us that we then have to reveal his full plans by finding a roll of film. That roll of film is actually located outside the mansion, just outside the front door. However, it doesn't appear until we get this cutscene with Weird Ed. Once we're back to the top floor, you want to head right, skip that first door that we didn't open yet, which is still Nurse Edna's bedroom and head into the third door technically on the right. He's gonna tell us to halt and what we're doing in the house, however we give him back his hamster, and he's very very grateful for giving his hamster back and now he's basically on our side. Once he returns his hamster to his cage, we can go ahead and also give him the package. Once Weird Ed has the package, he is very happy. We are now apparently best friends with him. And now he's going to tell us about his plans. To find those plans, we have to head all the way back down all the stairs and go back outside to the front of the mansion. Now this is just one of the tons of ways that you can go ahead and play this game and get some of the different endings. There's multiple different endings in the game, like I said before about the Meteor Police ending. There's also one where you go ahead and get a music contract and you can give that to the Meteor and he becomes a famous musician and goes ahead on different talk shows and such. You can also mix some endings by calling the Meteor Police as well as giving the contract to the Meteor. So while he's on the talk show, he ends up being captured by the Meteor Police. There's also several ways to go ahead and kill off your characters, including taking the hamster of Weird Ed's, putting it in the microwave, exploding it, and then giving him back his remains. Okay, now that we have the roll of film of Weird Ed's, we're gonna have to develop it. However, there is some other cutscenes that occur in the game that you really are supposed to wait for in order to be able to enter the lab area. They go ahead and they play an arcade game, in which case you then have to go play the arcade game yourself, which is located in the mansion, get the score of the arcade game, the high score, and enter that as the lab password. 
However, if you go ahead and head to the lab now, which we won't be able to fully enter yet, because we don't have the plans and we don't haven't given them back to Weird Ed, in which case that we can't get by the purple tentacle. However, we can go ahead and open all the doors to get there, and enter the password is just four zeros, and it allows us to skip that whole scene with the arcade. So, once you're in this room, which we use that other key to get into, we're gonna go ahead and use the glowing key on both the top and the bottom locks here. Go ahead and open it up, and it's gonna reveal a panel with a nine number grid here. Go ahead and use the panel and enter four zeros as the code. Once you've done that, it opens up, and we can enter the lab. However, if we try to go in there now, the purple tentacle is gonna stop us from being able to enter. The way we're gonna resolve that is go ahead and give that roll of film to Weird Ed after we develop it. He'll help us out, take out the purple tentacle, and allow us to enter the lab to save Sandy.